Our next guest is our community connection in Carlsbad. Please welcome to the show my good buddy and real estate expert, Brian DeVore. Brian, how you doing, man? Very good. Thank you very much for having me. It's great to have you again and talk Carlsbad. Yep. You are Mr. Carlsbad. I am Mr. Carlsbad currently, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I, I, I've always wanted to call you Mr. Carlsbad. I'm so glad you have <laughs> the website now. It rolls off your now. tongue well, so I think we'll use it. It does. It does. Now, today we're going to talk about 92011. Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. Tell us about, for people who don't know Carlsbad, there's four zip codes. Right. What's 011 like? Okay. So, as I've mentioned before, uh, so... Carlsbad is broken up into four different uh, zip codes. 92008 is in northwest, 92009 is southeast, 92010 is in northeast. Carlsbad in 92011 is in the southwest portion of Carlsbad. Okay. So uh, it's bordered by Palmar Port Road to the north, El Camino Real to the east, to the south is Lucadia Boulevard, and to the west is Hawaii. <laughs> Maybe not that quite that far, but the ocean is to the west. So I would assume then, if I don't know anything about Carlsbad, uh, that the southwest mm -hmm. portion would probably be the most valuable portion of the exactly. land because it's closer to San Diego Correct. and you've got the beach frontage. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's true. Uh, and so historically, the 92011 zip code uh, has had the highest uh, home values, and but still a moderate level of sales because it's a very desirable place to be. Is, it a, uh, is there a lot of units there? I mean, as far as unit count is concerned, is it densely populated or is it more sparse? So it's sort of a mix. You do have some, uh, some more dense areas, which were, would be con your condos, but you do have uh, some homes with a little bit of land. You're not going to get as much land in that zip code because it's just very valuable property. So you're not going to have as big of, of a lot, so to speak, as you might have in other areas, uh, but you're also five minutes from the beach. Right. Uh, yeah, the most, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So why would someone want to live or be looking to live in that particular area of Carlsbad? So let's talk a little bit about who is living there right now. Okay. So right now there's about 26,000 people living in the 92011 zip code as of July. What's interesting is about 82% of them are married. Hmm. So if you're married, you're going to fit right in. Of the 82%, 46% are married without kids, 36% are married with kids. So I think the other 18% of the people who live in 92011 are probably the kids of the people who are married with kids. It's, so that's, if, you, if you fit that profile, that's where you want to be. That's why this guy is Mr. Carl Zay. He knows everything. He <laughs> knows right. the stats that's down. Right. That's Absolutely. crazy. Okay. The other thing is about 62% of the people who live in 92011 have some sort of college degree. So they're well-educated. Therefore, probably not a surprise, about the, the median uh, income in that zip code is about $95,000, which okay. is in line with the rest of Carlsbad, but about 50% about higher than in the rest of the state. Yeah, it's a lot higher than in San Diego. I think in San Diego, it's about 55000 Right. So almost double the average uh, in San Diego. Right. And if you want to get the rest of the demographics of that zip code, you can go to my website, and I'll have all the demographics you can learn more about it. Yeah, yeah, you've got a ton of good information on your website. Obviously, you're, you've are you been uh, carrying the Carlsbad flag for a long time Absolutely. on the real estate debate where you're a multi-time champion, a seven-time winner. Um, Rancho Carrillo, one of the uh, the neighborhoods in Carlsbad mm -hmm. that you've talked about many times before. Um, so that's who is living in that in 92011 right yes. now. Is that who would be also a good fit or is it uh, a more dynamic area? Well, I think it would, it's a good fit, but it's also uh, becoming more dynamic. We're actually starting to see a little bit more infill. So you're seeing some developments which are sort of live-work type places, uh, condos that are on top of retail that are close to the transit. And so you're starting to see some young professionals also moving into those areas. So I think it will always be a sort of a dynamic area, but because of the fact they're not building a ton more homes. I think it'll be somewhat, uh, somewhat what I've already described. Okay, because you know the thing that's really interesting about real estate in San Diego, just in general, right now, mm -hmm. is we're seeing the areas that really placate toward the millennials or the younger generations or that lifestyle, not necessarily just the millennials. There are a lot of boomers who want to live like millennials. Right. Walk to everything, close proximity, very convenient oriented lifestyles. Um, does nine two zero one one have that element? It has a little bit of the element, but I think what we tend to see, uh, the clients that I work with who gravitate towards those areas probably have experienced that lifestyle that you're describing before they had kids. And now that they're looking to have children, they want an area where it's more of a family type 
environment where they're going to have the kids can play with other kids on the street, uh, where the schools are excellent and the schools in 9201 are, are top notch. So I think this is sort of the next stage of life area. Uh, versus some of those areas you just described. Yeah, because we, we've noticed, like especially in Del Mar, mm -hmm. um, which is just turning into a ghost town, <laughs> you know, it doesn't really placate to that, right, exactly. that concept. And so it's just sort of the people who are there, they're getting older and then they're moving on and nothing's changing. They're not, they don't have that draw. Right. Um, I think the difference probably with Carlsbad, the beaches are a little bit more accessible. Right. There's more area of beach to be able to get to. Well, and I think also too, Del Mar has historically been higher priced. Yeah. than Carlsbad. How much and still is. Exactly. I mean, so for example, in 92011, the average median price home in the last three months of, of sales is about $800,000. Okay. Del Mar, I think, is a lot more. 1.5 almost. Or right. Right around there. Exactly. Yeah. So almost twice as expensive. Right. Uh, in Del Mar. Half as expensive in right, Carlsbad. Right, in Carlsbad. Let's, let's look at it, it that good, way. Good way to look at it. <laughs> so if I'm looking to buy. Yes. 92011. I, huh? want, I want to be in Carlsbad for the schools but I want to be in the southernmost area because let's say I work in Sereno Valley or something yes. like that. So I want to be south. I want to be beach. Mm -hmm. I want the beachfront stuff. So I want to be close to that. So I'm thinking 92011. What do I need to know as a buyer right now? So right now, sales are, are happening. Uh, the volume is very strong. Prices are up versus last year. The same three-month period a year ago, the median price was 765. So it's up about 5%. What's also interesting is the same three-month period in 2006, which was the top of the market, uh, was 739. We're actually above the top of the market. So wow. I think that if you want to buy in that zip code, you want to get in. Now's a good time. Rates are still good. There's still a good mix of uh, homes that are available. Uh, not a ton of inventory, kind of like everywhere in San Diego right now. So you have to be patient. Uh, but if you're looking to get in there, there's really no better time to do it. OK, so we're at a price point that is higher than we were at the peak? Yes, is that what you said? Correct. Do you find that to be concerning at all? Do you think that means that we're too high? So that's a very good question. Uh, and I think that we have to look at a couple things. One, uh, how does a home compare to buy versus to rent? Yep. Right now, and I, did, I looked at this, uh, it's about the same to buy as it is to rent. The difference is the majority of people who live in the zip code are owners, about 60% versus renters. So I think that as long as the income of these folks is still higher than the, than the average, uh, I think you'll still see people moving there. And f let's face it, they're not building anymore. You can't build to the west unless you can build on a barge. Yeah. You know, you can't build anywhere else, so it's just becoming more valuable. Wouldn't that be crazy if they started <laughs> yeah. infilling sand and like making new beach? Exactly. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Everyone who had a waterfront property, sorry. Right. It's no longer. <laughs> sorry. sorry. You bought the view, you don't have it. You anymore. don't have it. You're looking <laughs> in my backyard. That's right. <laughs> you gotta pay me for it access now. <laughs> well, let's well, let's go to the other side of the coin then. Yes. Because I typically, when I see or I hear stuff like that, like, hey, we just crested, we just made new highs, or we just hit the old highs. I'm thinking, if I'm a seller, this might be a good time. Or if I'm thinking about selling, let's say we're going to move, or our last kids are going to be out of the house in a couple years, and we've already got plans to downgrade and, and, and go into a smaller area, a smaller cost, right. and sell and take our profits and use that as part of our retirement, or whatever the situation is. Right. But I start thinking about the people who might be sellers, and bulbs are going off like, this is probably a good time to sell. Right. Exactly. And that's, see, that's one of the problems we've had is with low inventory is because we don't have a lot of people who are selling because they want to be there. Right. Um, but if I was a seller, I'd look at a couple different things. One, is it time to cash out and take my profits? Because now, even if I bought at the top of the market, I'm still probably okay. People who bought at the very bottom of the market, obviously they're doing fantastic right now. They're just getting paid crazy. But the question is, where are they going to move to? Most of the people we see who are selling now are selling because of a change of life situation, retirement, kids out of the home, like you mentioned, um, you know, things of that situation versus, oh, we just want to sell. Maybe they're moving for a job. Um, but what I'm telling a lot of people in that zip code now is, maybe you don't want to sell now. You know, maybe you take advantage of the low interest rates that are lower than what you got your loan with. Maybe you refinance it. Mm. I think a lot of people in that zip code, their home is worth more than what they thought it was. And maybe after watching this segment, they may think, ooh, Maybe my home really is worth a lot more than what I thought it was. Maybe you want to refinance it. Maybe use it as a rental for a long term. It really depends on their situation and what their strategy is going to be. If they need the money out to buy the next home, obviously they can't do that. 
but maybe that would be a good opportunity for them. Great stuff from Brian DeVore. Really appreciate you being here, my friend. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Carlsbad, you know who to call. Call Mr. Carlsbad, Brian DeVore. Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else commercial free.